And finally, I look forward to a special investigation on Newsnight tomorrow. It's the extraordinary story of the crook who turned folk hero, the train robber who escaped from jail, foiled all Scotland Yard's attempts to get him back, and survived a kidnap attempt on the high seas, as David Lomax reports. Earlier this year, a group of ex-Scots guardsmen chartered a luxury yacht for a cruise in the Caribbean. They told her owners they were a film crew working for an oil company. But in fact, they were a gang of kidnappers. They sailed to Brazil, captured Ronnie Biggs, the escaped great train robber, and brought him to Barbados for extradition to Britain. They always maintained that it was just a publicity stunt for their own security company. It just really wasn't anybody else who was going to mean as much to the British public. And they were the people I, were, I, were, I was trying to get, and I was aiming the, the, the promotion at. <laughs> who wants Nazi war criminals? unless you're Jewish. I just didn't think they would have the same glamour that Ronald Biggs would have. They wouldn't stir up so much public sympathy. They wouldn't divide a country, which the Ronald Biggs thing has done. I mean, you've got half of the people on one side saying, terrific, well done, he should be in jail, and the other half saying, well, you know, it's really a bit naughty, the poor guy, you know, he's 50 this and he's da-da-da-da, hasn't done anything. So I was really looking for something that was going to cause a great deal of controversy. The kidnap plan failed. Biggs went back to Brazil on a legal technicality, the gang went free, and Fleet Street lost interest. But this whole bizarre affair still left many questions unanswered. In a special investigation in Newsnight tomorrow night, we report on who the kidnappers were, how they drew up their plans, how they raised the money, who paid them, and what the backers hoped to gain by putting Ronnie Biggs back behind bars. That from David Lomax tomorrow, and now from Louise and myself and everybody else here on Newsnight, it's good night.